Hello, my name is Brock here with Geek Seller. In this video, we will be going over our Walmart DSV integration, or the Dropship Vendor program. These sellers keep products in their own warehouses and list them on Walmart.com. When a customer places the order, the seller ships it to the buyer with a Walmart packing slip. Walmart can also request that a seller ship it to one of Walmart's retail locations when a buyer chooses the Pick Up in Store option. A big difference here between the DSV and regular marketplace sellers is that Walmart covers the cost of shipping for DSV, so there are no shipping expenses for dropship vendors. There are some benefits of being a DSV seller. First, we have the Sold by Walmart badge. As a Walmart DSV seller, your products are listed as Sold by Walmart, which helps your product's credibility. Next, we have free shipping. All of your products will be eligible for free shipping, and even better, Walmart covers all shipping charges. Lastly, the Ship to Store benefit. Your products are eligible for Ship to Store, which is a popular option where buyers can pick up their products from their local Walmart. Now let's go over some product management. Sellers are able to add and edit single listings via our user-friendly interface or in bulk via CSV or XLS import. Walmart DSV sellers can enhance items with rich media. Rich media includes materials such as videos, comparison tables, and View360 media. If you need help creating professional rich media content for your Walmart products, GeekSeller offers professional design services to help you create rich media content. Once the products exist in GeekSeller, our platform makes it easy to transfer the product data between marketplaces to be published for sale. Now we can go over some quantity management. By using GeekSeller's master panel, sellers are able to have multiple warehouse quantities separate based on your Walmart DSV nodes. For example, this seller has warehouses in New Jersey, Texas, and Nevada. Geek Seller also gives sellers the ability to set up quantity rules for their items. There are multiple ways to set this up. For example, three below three. This means that we would still send the quantity of three to a marketplace, even if it is below three. Or zero below three, where any quantity below three, we send zero to a marketplace to prevent overselling. Additionally, sellers can customize their quantity flow based on their business needs. Node quantity levels can be updated via FTP, API, or by CSV import to the Geek Seller platform. Now orders management. The Geek Seller orders tab in the master panel can inter integrate directly with FedEx, UPS, and over a hundred other carriers through an integration called EasyPost. DSV sellers can enter Walmart's third-party billing information. Our interface makes it easy to bulk generate labels by setting up automation rules. A newly added shipments page allows sellers to check shipment status and confirm the order delivery. Also, sellers can add tags or notes to orders for label and organizational purposes. Here are some of the automation rules that I discussed in the last slide. Some examples would be node priority, selecting a shipping service, or email notifications. Geek Seller users will have access to this dashboard, which offers analytics tools such as cross-channel visuals and sales or product reports de detailing your business trends. These reports are available for download and customizable based off of SKU and date time range. GeekSeller can be contacted via email, live chat, or by scheduling a call with one of our agents. Our live chat is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. We are happy to share that we have received excellent reviews from our sellers that are posted on Trustpilot, Captera, and Google. If you would like to book a demo or register for a two-week trial of the GeekSeller platform, please visit www.geekseller.com.